Regular heart rhythm of a normal person is about 50 to 100 beats per minute. The rhythm is consistent and the upper and lower chambers are in sync. Patient with heart arrhythmia has inconsistent heartbeat and the lower and upper chambers of the heart are out of sync. There are two types of heart arrhythmia, slow heart rate or known as bradycardia, a condition that makes the heartbeat less than 50 or 60 per minute. And the other type is fast heart rate or known as tachycardia, a condition that makes the heartbeat more than 100 per minute. Most of the time, heart arrhythmia is detected during annual medical checkup. When you have these kind of symptoms, you must be aware or concerned that you may have heart arrhythmia, fainting or near fainting, dizziness or lightheadedness, shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, or feeling like your heart is racing. If you have these kind of symptoms, come to the hospital and seek medical advice. Heart arrhythmia or abnormal heart rhythm can be caused by many factors, whether it be structural heart disease like defects in the heart since birth, or myocardial dysfunction or mitral valve regurgitation, which is known as the leaky heart valve. Aside from these causes, heart arrhythmia can also be caused by certain underlying disease that affect the function of the heart. This is often found in patients who have high blood pressure, diabetes, and as well as those who take certain medications of substances that consist of amphetamine or caffeine. Currently, there are treatment methods that could precisely and effectively treat the patients with heart arrhythmia. Moreover, the success rate of the treatment is around 95 to 98 percent. To treat abnormal heart rhythm depends on what type you've got. The treatments are medicine to control the arrhythmia, we have implanted cardiac device to help direct the arrhythmia, and we also have catheter ablation to remove the abnormal cells that are causing the arrhythmia. The last one, the catheter ablation, could be done with certain types of tachycardia and with high success rate. Even though there are advanced technologies in the treatment of heart arrhythmia, it would be better if we could prevent it. To be able to reduce the risk of heart arrhythmia, you need to change your entire lifestyle such as eating nutritious food, controlling your weight, getting enough sleep, and regular exercises. However, if you happen to have the signs and symptoms of irregular heartbeats or arrhythmia, you should seek immediate medical attention and receive proper treatment that are suitable for your symptoms and your condition. Wetany, victory for life.